The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a bubbling beaker of Arabian tradition mixed with science-bending futurism, with megacity Neom spearheading the change. From its technological verve to its sustainability ambitions, it's clear that Neom is firmly in charge of its narrative, with robotic avatars and holograms ready to become part of everyday life. Emerging from stark desert splendor, the 26,500 square kilometer site will extend 460 kilometers along the coast of the Red Sea in the Tabuk province of Saudi Arabia, providing a self-sufficient residential haven powered entirely by renewable energy. Would you like to hear more about this future city? It's not a problem, we'll tell you about the city, but before that, we want to welcome you to the Future Lore channel. To watch more interesting videos such as this on our channel, subscribe and turn on the notification. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is back in the news with his ambitious project, the Neom City State. Being built on the Red Sea in northwest Saudi Arabia, the $500 billion city state promises to be humanity's next chapter. The prince announced that Neom would house Trojina, an all year round ski village, a nearly two mile man made freshwater lake, and the vault a vertical village within the mountain with a fusion of technology, entertainment, and hospitality facilities. Let's take a look at what is being promised in this $500 billion city-state and why Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is pushing for its construction. The new city-state is named from a combination of the Greek word for new and the Arabic term for future. The plan for this city is to cover 10,000 square miles of Saudi Arabia's Tabuk province near its borders with Jordan and Egypt. A glance at the website reveals that the futuristic megacity is touted to be 33 times the size of New York City. Initial plans for the city include flying drone taxis, a Jurassic Park-style amusement park, and a giant artificial moon that lights up nightly. Reports state that the futuristic city-state is being built using artificial intelligence and clean energy sources. The planners of the city have said they would provide bullet trains in a hyperloop for transportation, but residents would be encouraged to use bicycles. The BBC has reported that Neom City is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan to wean the country off oil, the industry that made it rich. The developers of the city also added that it would exist entirely outside the confines of the current Saudi judicial system, governed by an autonomous legal system that will be drafted up by investors. Within Neom, there would be Oxagon, a city floating on water spanning 7 kilometers 4.3 miles, making it the largest floating structure in the world. As we already said, Neom would also be home to Trojina, a mountain tourism destination which will offer year-round outdoor skiing, a wellness resort, and an interactive nature reserve, among other experiences. According to a press release, Trojina expects to attract 700,000 visitors and 7,000 permanent residents by 2030. It was also claimed that the project would create 10,000 jobs and add 3 billion rials, $800 million, to the Saudi economy. In addition to Trojina, the following parts of the city are also planned. The Line. In January 2021, the project unveiled plans for The Line, a 170-kilometer-long linear city within the Neom area that is supposed to have 1 million citizens without conventional cars. Neom Bay. The development work of the project's first phase, Neom Bay, was planned to start in the first quarter of 2019 and be completed by 2020. The developments were to include constructing the airport at Sharma, which would operate regular commercial flights between Riyadh and Neom. The plan of Neom Bay's developments also involves building the first residential area in Neom as part of Phase 1. Neom Bay Airport In June 2019, it was announced that the Neom Bay Airport would start to receive commercial flights after the first phase of the airport was completed, with a runway length of 3,757 meters. The airport that planned to be located at Neon Bay has been registered by the International Air Transport Association, IATA, with the code NUM. Neom Industrial City, Oxagon. This place is located around 25 kilometers north of the town of Duba and covers roughly 200 to 250 square kilometers of land, of which approximately 40 square kilometers from the neck. The project will focus on modern manufacturing and industrial research and development centered on the expansion of the Duba port. 
In November 2021, the project was renamed Oxagon and described as a floating industrial complex shaped like a regular octagon. It will be the largest in the world when completed and would serve as a port for shipping routes through the Red Sea. Agriculture Neon plans for 6,500 hectares of the surrounding land to become agricultural fields and to rely heavily on genetically engineered crops. Neom International Airport. The overall development area covers an area of 20.2 square kilometers, 6,600 meters long by 3,061 meters wide. The work is in progress. A city like this is not built for no reason, you'll agree with us. So why is it being built? Other than the obvious reason for tourism and generating money for the economy, experts note that there are other underlying reasons for Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's megacity. Many believe that the opulent city is an attempt by the prince to repair the country's tarnished image. The Middle Eastern nation has drawn ire over its military operations in Yemen and also the alleged personal involvement in the killing of Washington Post journalist and Saudi government critic Jamal Khashoggi in Turkey in 2018. However, the city's project has also received some criticism. Neom's slick public relations efforts, part of an effort to attract tourists to diversify the Saudi economy, have also opened it to criticism. Flashy promotional videos show all the glitz and glamour of a cosmopolitan city with its laws and security forces, a territory independent of the old guard that rules Saudi Arabia. But critics say the project will mostly cater to the very rich. Palaces have reportedly been built for the country's royal family. Satellite images show a helipad and a golf course among the first construction projects. Ali Shihabi claims the city will house everyone from laborers to billionaires, although he admits that's not how it's been perceived. I think the problem with Neon is that it has failed in its communication strategy, he says. People think that it's just a rich man's toy. While we hope that the construction of this city will be realized according to plan, we're sure that the appearance of the city will blow your mind, but also hope that the future inhabitants of the city will be ordinary people, not just millionaires. Would you like to be one of the future Neomians? Share with us your opinion about this topic. There's a comment section, so feel free to leave it there. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Press the notification bell so you don't miss more videos like this. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again soon. See you again.